yes. <laughs> and the kiss. Very beautiful, but very solemn. So today, we have some videos to show you from a big event that occurred recently. Oh, really? Oh, the wedding! I watched the whole thing. The royal wedding. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Believe it, I stayed up all night long. Obviously, due to time, we can't show you everything, so we're gonna show you some notable moments from the wedding. Fantastic, loved yeah. everything about it. Oh, wow. She looks lovely, I gotta give her that. Oh, and Prince Charles was the one who walked her down. Okay, the traditions have changed. Now this girl is changing traditions. And Harry looks a little nervous. I remember when I was standing there, too. He looks like one of the most elegant doormen I've ever seen. I mean, the whole change in society is reflected in this wedding. Oh, my goodness. It's nothing like true love. I think she's marrying down, but hey, that's just my opinion. I'm a wedding photographer, and I've covered more than 100 weddings. Megan's wedding dress was the most elegant and beautiful wedding dress that I've ever seen. There's power in love to help and heal when nothing else can. You betcha. There's power in love. Now this guy's to help really enthusiastic else can. and really sold his sermon. There's power in love to lift up and liberate when nothing else will. There's power. She kind of looks like her mom a little bit. Think and imagine a world where love is the way. Such a venue. Because when love This is, is the you way, know, not the style of the British with their reserve and their behavior. We actually treat each other well like we are actually family. That's right. I don't think the British are quite accustomed to that kind of energy in a sermon. I thought we were gonna get some kind of hallelujah moment in the but he didn't go that far. What a cathedral. When the night has come. Oh, the gospel choir. And the land is dark. And the moon is the only light we see. Beautiful song, beautifully sung. So darling, darling, <laughs> That's really a good song for the wedding. Stand by me, stand by Beauty, me. the architecture, stand the hairstyles, you know, the hats. I mean, everything about it was just mwah. We all assume that Megan made this decision. Prince Charles invited this gospel choir to sing. She's glowing. Shall we kiss? Yes, right, let's. The okay. There's that kiss. Right, yes. <laughs> Kiss. And there is the kiss that everyone was hoping for and waiting for. I should have watched the whole thing. What a wonderful day of joy. And I'm thinking about the young girls. You can one day marry a prince. It's true. It's all over now. And it, is this the daughter of the William? The There's little the Charlotte. Crowd. You have to practice that wave. That's yeah. England right there. It's so awesome. We really know about how to put on a parade. British pageantry matched with... You know, the Queen of England's been reigning for many years. This is probably her last big wedding. Windsor, which are just sparkling today. Just a beautiful occasion. Beautiful wedding. I wish I had been there. I wish I had been the photographer that's contracted to do this wedding. So we do have a lot to talk about the royal wedding, but before we start talking about this particular wedding, we have some clips to show you from royal weddings from the past. Oh, wow. Okay. I think they're going to be a little more stately. Okay, this is William. Oh, Kate and Will. <laughs> it can't fit. I'm have trouble getting that on. With this ring, I be wed. Got that ring, ring all the way on there. It's solemn, but it's beautiful. It was very traditional. But he's the future king. It's a little more dignified, because he's going to be king and she's going to be queen, so you felt like this was a little more formal. They were beautiful. Nice, pleasant. I'm not going to spend three hours watching it, but uh, I, I like the highlights. A bride any moment. This is uh, Diana. Coming down the Whoa, what a dress! I always thought that dress was a bit over the top. 
It's their mother. Oh, I loved our Princess Diana. Listen to the welcome. Very beautiful, but very solemn. And the crowd is just going nuts. Their marriage really wasn't a happy one, which is sad, because she was so in love with him. I got more in touch with her because of her activism, and I'm sure that's what touched everybody when she passed away. Hand in hand, Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth. Okay, Prince and Philip. Husband, his Royal Highness Prince Philip. And Elizabeth II. Now that was a royal marriage, but it was a marriage for love. The king, the queen, and queen. I'm not sure we watched this on television. I think we watched it in a movie theater. Finally, no, he's not the king. He's the prince because he's not in the royal family. He came from the Greek, the Greek side. Crowd surged forward in a vast wave towards the very gates of the palace. There's quite a difference there. That's very solemn. It's a big part of their economy. Their their uh, tourism over there. That's all part of it. It's just sometimes I get. It's a little bit carried away and uh, uh, for me. Royal weddings bring up a lot of unity in the country. Uh, they bring a lot of tourism and money. The money they spent, some people think, is, oh, it's three million, billion dollars, and it's terrible air. But it brings in so much goodwill and so much unification and so much tourism that I think it's money well, well spent. Plus, it's just lovely. So going back to the royal wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, it took place on May 19th, 2018 and was watched by more than two billion people worldwide. Whoa! For you personally, was the royal wedding a big deal or do you not really care? Uh, not all that, not all that big. I'm, I'm, I'm not really a, uh, a monarchist. I love the history and, and the pageantry of it all. I like the history of it and the traditions of the monarchy go back thousand, you know, to 1066. It was a big deal. Well, it's a happy time and worldwide people like happiness. It's so elegant, it's so um, elaborate, it's, it's kind of a must-see. It was drinking tea and eating crumpets and scones. And this was very exciting because it was the, the melding of two countries. So Megan is an American, well known for her role on the TV show Suits. She's not a royal blood, was married once before, and is the first person of color to ever marry into the royal family. Yes. She is going to be an inspir inspiration, I think, to a lot of young girls. I'm happy that this has happened. I'm, I'm all for her marrying into the royal family and, and bringing diversity to it. The monarchy is well known for its traditions and generally old school practices. So is this something you could have ever envisioned happening for the monarchy when you were growing up? Uh, no. However, I think that they realize the world has changed and that somehow they've got to change if they want to continue to lead. Probably not, but you know, times are changing. And a lot of the barriers that, that were up um, in, in my generation are, are down now. Yes, Princess Diana wanted to um, bring the monarchy to the people. One reason the royalty of the monarchy has done so well is that they do change with the times. Diana was so inclusive and she really worked hard to get those boys to feel the same way. And after watching some of these weddings and having lived through some of them as well, uh -huh. how does this most recent wedding and the monarchy in general compare to how things were before? I think now they're changing. Now it's simple but elegant compared to before where it was really lavish. William and Catherine's was more traditional and you felt the, the solemnity of the situation. Whereas this one, it was like, when's the party? Yeah, let's go. Princess Diana had to have her hymen checked. She had to have an examination to make sure she was a virgin. Kate did not have to do that. So that's a change. What I have seen in recent years where royalty is getting out in the community and doing things for the community and doing nonprofit type of things, working with schools and, and helping underprivileged children. That makes my heart, you know, uh, feel glad. And finally, with the amount of progression the monarchy has seen as of late, where do you see it going from here? I, think, I see it getting better and better. When do they have this little baby? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to modernize and become socially more socially active. It has to, or it will leave. It will it'll die because it won't have the money. They'll be able to relate to the people, the common people, 
better and common people will uh, appreciate their leadership in a, in a different way. It's going to be more modern, more, more simple, and they might change their rules. Hey, you guys can marry whoever you want to. We're going to see a much stronger involvement in uh, philanthropic, let's change the world, and really taking a more active part of that. They're going to have to do that to stay relevant. That, that's the key. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. Shout out to Rainbow, Unicorn, and Kevin Garcia for commenting. Here's my royal wave. Hey, what's up, guys? Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elders React. And if you want to check out more from FBE, be sure to follow us on Instagram. You can find those links in the description. Bye, guys.